Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Here we are in my messy living room area. My animals kind of, this is their place because we don't really sit out here much. I've kind of talked about the reasons why before, but real quick, I'll tell you again. If you don't want to hear it, skip forward. Fast forward about a minute. So my mom used to live with me. I used to take care of her and she used to sit in that middle spot right there. And then when I came home from the hospital, from being so sick with COVID for two months, I had to spend like a month and a half out here. So there's not very many good memories out here for me. And I honestly wanna put my sectional, I have a white sectional in the garage stored, but um, my boyfriend likes this brown couches they're not my favorite. They're not very comfortable. So when we snuggle up for the night and watch movies, we always watch them in our bedroom. So not out here a whole ton. So this is real life. This is what it looks like. There is my cat. That is Scout. He is asleep on his cat tree. So in today's video, I'm going to be working on my witchy fireplace. I have already decorated my entertainment center area. If you did not watch that video, I will link it down below in the description box. But right now I also want to show you, I just came from Michael's and they are having a great sale if you need some more Halloween decor. And they still had a good amount in stock, um, at least at my Michael's. And it's already marked down. And then they have a coupon if you go to michaels.com you can get an additional 20% off. It's either 20 or 25%, I will confirm that for so you. The coupon is for 20% off. So if you go to michaels.com and search coupons, it is on their website. So this is what I ended up getting. I didn't get very many things and I apologize. I know my couch is dirty. My dog lays up here. Like I said, my cats lay up here. I need to vacuum it, but I've mentioned several times how much I love this garland and this is the garland and it is normally $14.99, 50% off and then plus the additional 20% off. So I ended up getting two and it's the chain rose garland. I really like it and I got two of them and then also I got I wanted to get some of these white eyeball roses and those were normally $3.99, 50% off and then an additional 20%. And then the last item I got was this creepy moss. I figured it would look great on my apothecary shelf. And like I mentioned in that video, and if you did not watch that, I will link that down below. Um, I do go back and tweak things because my table that is currently my practical magic table, also video I will link down below. I change it to Michael Myers and I think I'm going to do that video tomorrow. So I wanted to do this video as soon as possible so you guys could go get your Michael's decor. So this will be a Saturday video obviously. And then for tomorrow's video, make sure you're subscribed. I always do a spooky Sunday video. I'm gonna make it my Michael Myers decorate my kitchen table area video. So make sure that you are subscribed and you don't miss out on that. But I got four of these. I bought what they had left. Um, how much were these guys? They were $3.99 with the 20% off. So this is all I got. My whole purchase came to like $20, you guys, which is amazing because these garlands alone were $14.99 a piece. So really pleased with that. Now this sale is going on through tomorrow. So if you don't see what you like in store, you can also try ordering it online because I do also have some stuff in my shopping basket online. And I do have that um, infamous which picture in my shopping basket that I did not purchase, but because it's so marked down that I may get it and put it in my office or something. 
And that brings me to my next topic. I'm gonna be having some really neat content coming up. I still have my decorate my spooky hallway video that I have to do, which is gonna be one of my last videos about decorating. And then I wanna decorate my office. I haven't done that yet. And that has been kind of a free for all and a catch all for all of my um, spooky finds I've found this year. So I need to get that going or I like to have decor up for the whole entire month and it's just really not gonna be worth it to me if I can't get it up, you know, in time to enjoy it. So I'm gonna get started. We're gonna work on the witchy fireplace. And again, if you're new to the channel, I'm on oxygen. Um, I've explained in previous videos why, so I'm not gonna go on with the, keep going on with the story. If you watch my other videos, I link in the description box. I explain it before I decorate. So I'm going to get started decorating the witchy fireplace and let's get into it. Okay, you guys, to do a witchy fireplace, you need some of the following. I like to make it look a little bit more natural, spooky vibes and whatnot. So each year I get these cinnamon scented brooms at Trader Joe's. Although I did not get any this season, except for the tiny little ones you saw me do in a recent spooky Sunday haul. Um, because I still have, let's see, one, two, three, five of these, and they still look very good. The smell is just very, very faint. So, and quite honestly, when the brooms, they make the house smell good, but it's kind of overkill. So I'm okay with them not smelling and they still look great. The next thing is, is I stack up on stock, stack up, stock up on my floral because if you've seen my witchy fireplace before, and I will link last year's again down in the description box, I like to hang dried flowers from the fireplace like they're the witch's herbs type of thing. And then I have this that I stick in the fireplace. I got this at Kirkland's. I actually have two of them. And I put that in the fireplace. And I have my little skeleton which last year I did put in front of the fireplace, but because I got my pottery barn skeleton, I still haven't taken it out of the box. I've been kind of afraid to look at it. I hope there's not a problem with this one. Um, if you're following me, I ordered the light up pottery barn skeleton in black, which is pretty pricey. And um, the leg from the knee down did not light up. So for the price of the skeleton, um, I want the thing to work. So I milled it back and I just got it back like a week ago and I'm too afraid to take it out of the box, but I am going to incorporate it um, maybe in my living room or with my witchy fireplace. And then I have a bunch of dried stems. This bag is actually full and I have my spiders, which I want to try on this wall like the bats. This wall doesn't ever get very much attention with the Halloween decor, so I thought it'd be kind of cool to put some spiders going across the picture or something like that. And as much as I like this picture, my boyfriend loves this picture. I got it at Kirkland's years ago, and I'm just so tired of so many words around my house, you guys. It reminds me of Ray Dunn. I never thought about it, as much until the whole Ray Dunn craze. And um, these are pretty much the only words I have up around my house year round. And I have a sign in my kitchen that says cocktails that lights up. That's about, oh, and then a sign that says coffee. So I just, I don't like having words all over the place. I feel like it's too much. What do you think? What's your input? So I kind of want to redecorate and not have this sign, but my boyfriend really likes this sign, so I have not. And here's my lazy boy. This is Scouter. He is like, mom, who in the heck are you talking to? Just let me sleep. And then I wanna show you, I don't wanna hurt your eyes, so I'm gonna spin you around. This is my other kitty. This is Samantha. And she's like watching everything as well. So that is what I have so far. I've pulled everything out. I am missing a few things. 
So as I go along, I will probably tweak it, um, but I'm gonna get started and show you my progress as I go. All right, so you guys remember this garland that I loved? I don't like this orange sparkly stuff. So what I think I might do is put this around the trim of the fireplace, but I'm thinking the orange might be too much. The pumpkins, I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna take all this glittery stuff off. Okay, so this is what it looks like, the garland. I think I am gonna go with that. Normally I just had branches up there and I just kinda used what I had. So I am going to obviously need some tweaking and whatnot, but I am gonna go ahead and use that. And I kinda like the orange cause it brings out the warm tones. So I'm gonna continue on. So these are my witchy hanging bouquets. I made these last year and all you need to do is buy Dollar Tree stems, that's all I did and I used black ribbon and wrapped it around and tied a knot at the end. And I hang them from my fireplace and it gives this very cute witchy effect. So I'm gonna hang okay. those up. This is what I have, this is what they look like. Don't judge, I know my fireplace is dirty. It's funny, in fact, the whole time we've lived in this house, we've never used our fireplace. And then when we wanted to, I am on oxygen and I can't have fires or be around fires. So it really sucks, but I put candles and battery operated things in the fireplace, but it's nice to have a fire, you know? So one thing of, that sucks about me being on oxygen. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I usually put three little bouquets up here above the fireplace, like the witches, you know, put their flowers, their herbs up there to dry type of thing. All right, this is what I have so far. As you can see, I put my Kirkland pumpkin in the fireplace. I have it stacked on this wood wreath that you can get at Hobby Lobby. They have them every year. And I put some Dollar Tree leaves, stems in there, and then my orange battery operated lights. So it's funny, this Magnolia basket, I've almost gotten rid of so many times, but I like it because it's that metal basket and I don't know, it just still looks good. I was thinking about putting a regular wicker basket here, but this one I don't have to worry about it bending, breaking, anything happening to it. And then this, I like kind of a cabin boho style for the holidays. And um, so this um, stand, this wood stand, where did I get this at actually? I think I got it at Home Goods, to be honest. So yeah, I always keep that by my fireplace. So this is, and then for below the Kirkland pumpkin lantern, I usually have flickering lights to make it look like a flame, but I don't know what I did with my strand of flickering lights. So I just put orange glowing lights in there for now. I will probably switch them out because I like to make it look like it's a fire. So this is what I have so far. All right, you guys, it's looking so cute, my witchy fireplace. Now the next thing, I just need to switch out my votive candles here. I put skull heads in there. And then you'll see where these nails are. I have Pottery Barn hands I bought last year. They're really heavy and my boyfriend has to help me with them. I'm gonna try and put them up there. If I can't get them up there, I will have to show you what it looks like in an updated video. But it is already getting late and I wanted to get this video posted so you guys, if you didn't know about the Michaels coupon, you had enough time to go shopping. So at least you'll have tomorrow. And I apologize, it takes me so much longer to create and post, but I wanted to do a surprise video. And then again, tomorrow for my spooky Sunday, um, I will do a Michael Myers video, decorate with me. That is very simple, but I do it every year and I love it. So I don't know when my boyfriend will be able to help me hang these up. 
probably not for a couple days just because my birthday's on Monday and he has my birthday off and we're very busy and I move very slow. So when I have everything up, I will do a updated video on things that I've changed and whatnot. And I will also end up doing a full house Halloween tour. So this is where it is right now. And the climb that you hear is my cat scratching the scratching post. So, all right, I'm gonna finish this up. All right, you guys, this is the final. My witchy apothecary fireplace. And I was able to get my pottery barn hands up there, but I'm nervous this one's gonna fall out of the wall because one of the screws was not as sturdy. This one's in there really good, but I just kind of hung candlesticks. They're floating and they are on a timer. And then I have my candles and then I ran out of batteries, but this little candelabra, I got at World Market last year. It's like a tree vine, it's really cute. So I'm gonna put my spiders up on the wall really quick and then I will give you a full view of what this looks like. And these are the spiders I'm working with from Kirkland's. They are like the bats I showed. And if you missed those videos, I will link them below as well. I put the bats from Kirkland's, they have the little hooks on the back above my entryway and above my entertainment center. So when I saw they came out with the spiders this year, I thought, how clever. So I had to, of course, get the spiders. So I'm gonna play around with these and I'm going to hang them up here and I will show you what it looks like. Guys, I didn't realize there's a big, huge one. I legitimately grossed out. Anyways, these are so funny. My cat is on his cat tree right here. Like, what the heck is going on, mom? It's so hilarious. But all I do is I take a clear tack and see the hook. And I just, well, I can't do it one-handed. Can I? No, I can't. Hold I on. Hook it on. Sorry, I couldn't do it one-handed and I without my glasses on. I don't have my glasses on. But then that way, you don't have to worry about any sticky adhesive on your wall, taking the paint off, and you don't have to worry about anything, and the tacks just make little tiny dots on your wall. You can barely see them. So I'm gonna do some more spiders on top there. So this is what it looks like. I almost feel like having two big ones is too much because <laughs> the big ones are so big, they're funny. So the box does come with a set of nine. You get um, five small ones and three, wait, hold on, is that correct? Two, four, no, you get six small ones and three big ones. So I might take the big one on the bottom and put a small one and just have one big one at the top because I think having the two big ones is too much. So I'm gonna try that and see what it looks like, but it's cracking me up for sure. All right, so this is what I did. I put four at the bottom and three at the top, and I still have the big one. So I was correct, wrong, It or I have two more big ones that I'm not gonna use. So this is what it looks like. I might play around with it but this is what I'm gonna stay with for right now. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like from a distance. I mean, naturally I have a few more things to do in here still. I have my spooky wreaths I put up there, but here is my entertainment center area. So what I'm going to do for spooky Sunday is I'm going to show you the finished product of this tomorrow because I'm really running thin on being tired and oxygen and whatnot. 
and um, I will show you what this looks like. I don't know if I'll be able to get the batteries for tomorrow, um, but I will definitely tweak a few things. And so I'll, that'll be tomorrow for Spooky Sunday. And then you guys, the spiders, I honestly don't know how I feel about them. I don't know if I like them. Give me your honest opinion and thoughts, what you think. Is it, whoops, sorry, I'm shaking a little bit. Is it too much? Too much going on in here? I'm gonna back up. Because I have all the spiders on that wall. And then I'm gonna try and go very slowly. My light's on so I don't wanna bright you guys out. And then I have all that. And then my entertainment center is behind me. So, I don't know you guys, if I like the spiders, what do you think? Honest opinion, comment below. So again, Spooky Sunday, I will show updates and I will show you my Michael Myers for Spooky Sunday, but I will tell you my Spooky Sunday video is going to probably be not in the morning how I normally post because I'm really, really tired. I will work on finishing it tomorrow and I will probably have my Spooky Sunday uh, video posted at around four o'clock and I apologize for that. But you guys, that COVID vaccine on Monday has really taken a toll on me. I've been having like a hard time breathing this week and my heart rate has been like at 149. So I think I kind of had a reaction to the new vaccine, but I don't really have a choice. I mean, I have to have it. So anyways, that's it for today. Sorry if this video is getting out late, but at least you have tomorrow and you can look online tonight for all your deals from Michaels. And until the next one, happy haunting.